Do you like to use a hot glue gun in your DIY projects? Then watch a new smart hot glue hack compilation. Learn the utmost in how to use your favorite tool. Do you want to have your favorite EOS bomb on hand all the time? Transform it into a smart DIY keychain and attach it on your backpack. Smear fatty cream or Vaseline inside the EOS top. Pour in hot glue. When hardened, remove the glue balm. To cover the gap between the container edge and the balm, make a glue base. Apply the Vaseline on parchment paper. Twist the container to trace it. Apply the hot glue along the trace. Press the container in the glue. Take off the paper. Remove the excess glue. Attach the balm. It looks real, though it's a fake. Heat the ice screw. Drive it in the balm. Put on a ring and a chain. The cute lip balm keychain will keep your keys safe and secure. Attach it to your backpack or pencil case and enjoy having your favorite fake balm on hand. You've never had such a unique accessory. Guaranteed! It's totally awesome! It won't take you long to make this cute little charm. Squeeze a little hot glue onto the foil smudged with fatty cream. Smooth it with a wet finger. You can press it a little. It'll be the egg white. Add a hot glue drop in the center to make the 3D yolk. Paint the fried egg with a thin brush. Take it off the foil. Continue painting. Apply clear nail polish on top. We need a tiny ring for the mini charm. Cut the excess off of an eye pin. Put on a chain with a ring. Hot glue to the charm. It looks very pretty. Besides, you can wear it as a pin badge on your backpack or jacket. It's so cozy to wrap up into a blanket and draw something in a notebook. The only thing missing is warm tea. I hurry up to take a cup and oops! My slippery socks spoil the harmony. Let's change it. Upgrade your favorite socks. Add hot glue drops onto the sole. Wait until dry. You can dance on the most slippery floor with this anti-slip coating. Your incredible moonwalk could be the envy of Michael Jackson. Was hot glue the secret of his dance? Even your pet will like the socks. Hey! Stop gnawing on my favorite socks. They're not your toy. Do you think it's boring to have cocoa with cookies? Let's add a little contrast. Warmth and icy freshness. The snow frost candle holder will do perfectly well. We'll need a metal base. Put in three tea lights. Mark the places where they stand. Cover the bottom with a hot glue pattern. Sprinkle with glitter. Dab the holder edge with white paint. Use a sponge. Hot glue the candies. Cover the holder with sparkly frost. Apply blue glitter nail polish onto the edge. Ignite the candles. It immediately creates a cozy atmosphere. Besides, we can toast marshmallows above the flame. You can make pretty round embellishments to decorate the interior articles. We'll need parchment paper. Take a small piece. Carefully pour the hot glue to shape bead halves. They will look like clear buttons lying on the paper. Cover the whole paper. Prepare a number of nail polishes of different colors. Make sure the glue is hardened and cover the drops in a rainbow of colors. Don't be afraid to put the polish on the paper. These vivid embellishments will help make a smart design item out of a blank mirror. You can use them to decorate vases and different containers. You can even make a filigree candy dish with the help of the hot glue gun. Do you want to know how? Smear the underside of a bowl with the fatty cream. Fill the bottom with the hot glue.
Make a net pattern on the sides. It looks like fish scales. Wait until the glue hardens. Carefully take it off with your fingers. Remove the glue from the bowl. You shouldn't be afraid if it breaks unexpectedly. This is a light and flexible candy dish. You can use it to keep candies or handmade supplies like threads or yarns. Are you going to a party? Add a glamorous bracelet to your outfit. We'll need a silicone tube. Tuck a hot glue stick in it. Pour water and glycerin in equal proportions into the other end. It's time to add a little magic. Take glitter of different colors and carefully put it in the solution. Squeeze a bit of hot glue into the tube. Tuck it with the glue stick plug. Make a few similar bracelets for your friends and let them be a special mark of your friendship. Do you hate cup ring marks on the tabletop? Use hot glue to make a bright and sparkly cup coaster. Smudge fatty cream over parchment paper. Make a floral pattern using your hot glue gun. Sprinkle with glitter while the glue is hot. Continue squeezing the glue to create a flower. Cover it with glitter. Add a couple of leaves. When cool, take off the flower. The gorgeous DIY cup coaster will protect your table from ugly ring stains. Enjoy your cup of tea with this stunning accessory. How do you make a brooch using hot glue and wire? It's easy! We'll need the craft wire. Let the two wire loops shape a butterfly wing. Carefully stretch the hot glue over the wing to make a thin film. We've got two pretty wings. Join them together. Form the body. Cut off the excess. Correct the antenna shape. Make them more expressive. Add a drop of the hot glue to the ends. Attach a brooch base. The marvelous butterfly looks like it has just flown off the flower. The hot glue lets us create 3D pictures. Draw a flower on the cardboard, the stem and leaves first. Make them look like curves. Then the petals. Draw the center of the flower. Now the main part. Repeat the pencil traces with the hot glue. Cover the picture with a golden spray. Perfect! The picture with the 3D flower glows in the light. You can use this method to decorate photo frames, vases, and other design articles. Do you remember a charming baby Groot dancing in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Let's make it from hot glue. We'll need wooden skewers for the baby and a decorative pail to dance in. Measure out the figure's height. Break off the excess. Mark the bottom. Mark the place to put the head and the hands. Place the figure on the paper. Start assembling Baby Groot. Try to make it moving. It's easy. Just remember it's dancing. Hot glue the sticks in different directions. Okay, it looks similar. We'll make the head from a table tennis ball. Prick it with an awl. Make another hole on the opposite side. Pass through the skewer. Set the head at the mark. The figure base is ready. Let's make the hot glue body. Spread it evenly. 
The job requires your patience and time, and a lot of glue sticks. Try to replicate the look and texture of the wood. Thus, we'll imitate the comic character. Rotate the figure to make the spiral pattern. The body is ready. Let's make the head. Here you move the gun up and down. Cover the entire head with the glue first. Spread it out with the hot nozzle. Keep in mind the hair. Shape it with the tool until hot. Gradually add the glue to make the hair. Squeeze the glue and smooth it with the nozzle. Smooth the face. The base is ready. We've imitated the bark pattern on the body and Baby Groot's hairstyle. Add some details. Attach a thin hand and the other one. Cover them with the hot glue. Make the eye pits with the nozzle and squeeze a little glue around. Smooth the face. Scratch the smile with an awl. Paint the baby. Mix green, brown, yellow, and white acrylic paints. We've got an olive color. Paint Groot. You can add a bit of brown. Make it lighter with yellow. Don't try to make a smooth color. Mix the paint. Apply short strokes following the spiral pattern. Add more yellow. Paint the hair. Make it lighter, leaving dark pits and hollows to emphasize the wood texture. Apply the finishing coat using the dry brush with a bit of yellow. Add the black eyes. Hot glue the dancing figure to the pale bottom. It holds perfectly. We can pour in the filler. Use bright yellow aquarium stones. Add a few tiny green leaves. Isn't it cute? Baby Groot will keep dancing for you every day. If you feel blue, just look at it and you can't help smiling. It's so lovely, it seems it's going to say, I am Groot. Subscribe, hit like if you like the video, ring the bell and be the first to watch the new video.